My name is Tyler Brott. I hold the world record for free fall on a kayak at 56 meters. When I saw what Tyler did at Palouse Falls and how he stomped at 57 meters, I just thought, the guy is insane. But I guess that's what it takes to hold a world record. To me, and anyone I know, Anyol is the best all-around kayaker in the world. For 10 years now, he's been redefining kayaking and inspiring so many kayakers all over the place. I'm proud to say that I'm one of them. Talking about inspiration, Jules Dominey's love for the rivers is just so communicative to everyone. He is the expedition master around here, kayaking the hardest, most remote rivers there are, and at the same time heralding progress in botanical studies. I first discovered Colombia during the oil and water project in 2007. The country was just opening up, and a few years later, Aniol and Jules came spending time revealing the immense potential of its rivers. Colombia is a destination where there is really no limit for a kayaker. Most of the country has almost never been explored and most of it has epic rivers with some of the best big water I've ever encountered. They are always so remote and that's why paddling there is so gnarly. Jules like that so much that he actually lives down there now. When I first came to Colombia, I was just seeking adrenaline. I got my share of that, of course, but what I discovered and learned on the shores of Colombian rivers was beyond my imagination. Even in the most remote places, for instance, you'll always find enigmatic traces of human presence. So yeah, now it's been five years. Five years of exploring Colombia via its waterways, trying to share its fascinating secrets. Of all the missions we've gone on, there is one place that remains a mystery to us, the Chiribiquete. The incredible geological formation of the Chiribiquete stands proud 500 kilometers deep into the Colombian Amazon. The iconic rivers that drain the eastern flank of the Andes have to cut through the Chiribiquete mountains in order to join up with the Amazon River. As the tranquil mass of water hits the rocks of the Chiribiquete, they go mad, forming the biggest, scariest, potentially runnable rapids in the world. Araraucuara and Hirihirimo are powerful displays of nature's forces and contain high cultural and biological values, making them more than just rapids. They are the icons of the Colombian Amazon. We explored this area on two different occasions. We got close but on both times, we weren't able to run the rapids. Guys, we finally made it. 14 days on the Caqueta, and here we are on Aguara. The rapids are obviously way too flooded to run, but it's just uh, an invitation for us to come back because within the few minutes you arrive here, or the few first hours you hear, you realize this is a very, very special place. Once you've seen those places, you just can't stop thinking about them. It's like we've only got a small glimpse of their true character, and you always want to go back. So we've decided to return once more and run the rapids, and along the way, experience the full significance they hold within the Colombian Amazon. That is what we want to bring back. Just like my descent at Palouse Falls, this is going to be pushing the sports limits. But this isn't just free falling. It's one of the most exciting, most dangerous missions I've ever set out on.